Coming up, for or against a mask mandate in Sioux Falls, we hear from both sides of the argument. But first, we have an update on a Tuesday morning crash that involved multiple vehicles. Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Authorities in Charles Mix County are asking for the public's help to figure out how a 37-year-old man died. Investigators say Ryan Pyle's body was found on November 2nd on public hunting grounds near Platt. He was later identified through dental records. Authorities say Pyle was reported missing on September 23rd and was last seen in Minnesota on August 7th. The Gregory County Sheriff's Office found Pyle's vehicle with North Dakota license plates abandoned on a gravel road back in August. If you had contact with Pyle, you're asked to call the Charles Mix County Sheriff's Office. A multi-vehicle crash backed up traffic on Interstate 229 Tuesday morning, and it's turned deadly. The South Dakota Highway Patrol says two people died in this crash along I-229 on Tuesday morning. Investigators say an SUV and pickup lost control along the interstate and collided with each other. The driver and passenger of the pickup were thrown from the vehicle and died at the scene. The driver of the SUV was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. Conditions were even worse during the evening rush. We shot this video yesterday afternoon on North Cliff Avenue near Rice Street. As you can see, cars were not moving. The biggest problem was at the bottom of the hill. It was so slick that cars couldn't get up the hill and were blocking an intersection. There have been similar situations on hills all across the city. Now let's get a check of our current weather conditions with meteorologist Scott Munt. All right, Travis, as we do take a look at weather for today, we are looking at uh, more or less ups and downs as we do take a look at our forecast. You know, temperatures uh, will be a little above average as we do go into western, maybe central and northern South Dakota with numbers approaching 50 degrees. Uh, we'll see what we can do across uh, southeastern Kettleland, though it looks like we'll have numbers just slightly below average. But we do have warmer temperatures on the way for the weekend, 40s and 50s. And I think that trend will continue into next week. In fact, it will end up being just slightly warmer as we go through much of next week. More details on a Kettleland Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thank you, Scott. Sioux Falls' proposed mask mandate failed at last night's city council meeting to a 5-4 to four vote with the mayor casting the, the deciding vote. People packed into Carnegie Town Hall to voice their opinions for, for and against the mandate that would require people to wear a mask in public when six-foot social distancing is impossible. One of the arguments against the mask mandate is that it would be uh, too tough to enforce. They enforce this in Fargo. They enforce this in Omaha. They enforce this in Rochester. They enforce this in Brookings. Our law enforcement can do a better job than they can. As a business owner, I do not want to see other businesses continue and who are already struggling in this pandemic have extra costs, extra stressors, another thing to add to the list. Again, the city council voted 5-4 to defeat the mask mandate. As the number of COVID cases increases across the state, so do the number of potential exposures and people needing to quarantine. For all, I think schools are, in general, are, are struggling with the staffing issue more, more so than the, uh, the number of positives. And on, on, mo on Monday, the Harrisburg School District sent an email to all parents letting them know a lack of substitutes combined with a large number of staff unable to work due to quarantine or child care quarantine issues could move some schools into online learning. We, we are running uh, short in some days. Yesterday we were 14 short throughout the district, uh, which is an, an alarming uh, number given the number of uh, schools that we have, but it's still concerning. And if the trend continued, we just wanted to be proactive and let people know that this is a, a, a consideration and it's an issue that we're uh, currently dealing with. The school district is sending iPads home with all elementary students this week as a precaution and stress that they want staff and students to stay home when they have any potential coronavirus symptoms. Yesterday, the Sioux Falls School Board announced a one-time bonus for full-time teachers. Not only are teachers taking care of students in their classrooms, they then have to shift gears and tend to the kids learning from home. Because of this, the Sioux Falls School Board voted to give teachers an $800 one-time bonus. It isn't the only financial help they are giving teachers. They are also getting a one-month holiday from their health insurance premiums. I think this is the neatest thing about this is that the third item is we gave a permanent 
pay increase to everybody on our staff of 0.75 that will be seen then in the next fiscal year. So it, it, it's three really different items that all together make a great package for them. Part of the money comes from federal funds funneled through the state at $500 per student. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Good morning, Brian. All right. As we look at weather and snow totals, five to seven inches around the Sioux Falls area yesterday. We've got more numbers here at Kettleland.com. And, of course, as we watch the forecast, uh, things are going to be melting slowly here over this new snow band. Of course, the heaviest of that just south of Sioux Falls. So that's kind of where we're at now. And today's forecast that southwest and westerly breeze will be blowing stronger for places like Aberdeen Pier, be 15 to 25, but 40s for highs. Sioux Falls, because of the snow, we're stuck in the 30s today. Yep. And uh, we do expect more of that kind of weather tomorrow as we get a reinforcing shot of colder air. And with that, there may be some snow overnight, maybe minor amounts. A uh, couple suggestions, though, are even pushing an inch of snow around Marshall overnight. So keep an eye on southwest Minnesota. Sioux Falls, <clears throat> on average, under an inch is what we're kind of seeing on the information this morning. Tomorrow, it looks like northwesterly winds, again, reinforcing those 30s. And we'll probably have to stick with cooler weather in the east on Friday. But we're starting to notice warmer weather coming back in the extended forecast. Highs today, 49 in Phillip, 49 degrees in Pierce. So those numbers are pretty respectable. Let's look through seven days. Rapid City, look at next week. 54 by Monday, 62 by Tuesday. Yeah, there's some signals next week's weather is going to warm significantly. We'll keep an eye on it. A batch of 50s coming for Pierce starting Saturday, so that looks better. Uh, don't forget about Sunday, though. The wind could crank up across the prairies, and we're starting to see pretty strong signals of that. 40-degree weather, though, a lot of the time in Aberdeen due to the lesser snow cover. Sioux Falls, well, three days in the 30s, and you can directly they tie that into our five and a half inches of snow that we have sitting on the ground. More coverage with this forecast online at kettleland.com.